The original Cascade Road Bridge over I-96 in Grand Rapids was built in 1961. After 55 years, the bridge was deteriorating and needed to be replaced. The original designers could not have foreseen the growth in this area over the past five decades and that someday this structure would carry 25,000 vehicles a day. So when MDOT planners, designers, and engineers got together to discuss reconstructing the bridge, there was a lot more traffic to consider. They realized this was an opportunity to alleviate traffic congestion and improve safety by incorporating a new design known as a Diverging Diamond Interchange, or DDI. Traffic is now funneled to the left side of the road all the way across the bridge, so it won't have to wait to turn left onto the highway. With the DDI, there's only 14 conflict points versus 26 from a traditional interchange. This DDI may look confusing from above, but once you drive it, you'll see not only how easy it is to maneuver, but how much safer it is too. You just drive through and you know, you just stay in a lane and the sign above, uh, you know, it's, it's so well marked that you just stay in your lane and follow on through. So, and we have had nothing but compliments from people that uh, uh, have been through it since uh, it's been completely open. It's running so well because there was backups when there was just one overpass here. Uh, there had to be left turns in front of traffic here, and this would back up during rush hour because of the uh, uh, intense traffic that uh, this area generates. And uh, now what happens is that it moves very swiftly just to get right on the highway right away. Now you don't have these left turns in front of people, which is where I think from what I've learned and understood now is that you have less opportunity for accidents, which is exactly what you want to do in these situations. And like you said, the flow is much better. So that was pretty, uh, pretty easy, it just came, yep, came through right there. Through. The biggest concern was is I'm going to be on the wrong side of the road. And that has not been an issue at all with folks. You just automatically find your way back. But you can see even the street markings we have on the street show that if you stay in that, uh, that lane that you're headed to 96. So there's an advance warning for folks to know that they should be in that lane if they want to go on 96. Substantial safety improvements. Uh, there's a pedestrian pathway where people would have to just before take their life in their own hands because there is a lot of pedestrian uh, traffic in the area. And now there's a pedestrian crossing the entire way through. Because of the busyness of the two support roads that are on either side and their close proximity to the interchange, it was the perfect solution when we have lots of traffic coming from 96. Good job by MDOT. Good planning, good execution and I think the residents are pleased.